Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. Get the updates. We're going to start today's video. Um, it is courtesy of Dan. Thanks so much, Dan. You might know him better as Violent by Design, but I'm supposed to call him Dan. Uh, no. So this is uh, another half beer. It's another other half beer. Uh, it's been a while since I've reviewed another half beer. But thanks to Dan, I will be reviewing some in the near future, including right now. Uh, with the way the lighting is, this is near impossible to read. There we go. Mystic Greens Imperial India Pale Ale, 10% ABV. And this, oh, drink now. And this was brewed exactly, well, almost exactly a month ago. Uh, give it a little roll just in case. Okay, let's get into it. They don't put hops or anything on the uh, can, but... I'll give them credit. I mean, at least they're putting the ABV. They're putting the uh, can on date. Um, it looks, I think I said this when I did the unboxing. It reminds me, oh, that's kind of cool how it catches the light. It has like, um, like when you catch like gasoline or something, it has a rainbow effect. Um, but anyway, it reminds me a little bit of those like old school, um, you know, cross your eyes to see the secret image pictures. But anyway. Yeah, it looks like a pretty big, you know, New England hazy, I mean, that's for sure. Two fingers of an off-white head. Uh, actually, the way the lighting is, you, what you guys are seeing is better than what I'm seeing. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's very orange. Usually I've been saying orange with some yellow, but this is pretty much just orange. It's a very thick... It's not orange juice, so... You know, it, it's orange with, like, what I imagine like apricot puree or something or peach puree it's kind of that, that color um seen a little bit of legs and lacing so you've seen both those things being 10 percent, i'm not surprised i mean yeah i mean you're definitely seeing so i don't know if it's coming across or not yeah you can kind of actually you can see it um right there that's what that is that is some legs let's get to the aroma Maybe it's just because i said peaches and apricot but i do get some of that Some orange. It's something else. Be a lot of peach, apricot, orange. It makes me think citra. I always associate citra with citrus, but I have noticed I get peach and apricot with that. But I also feel like if it was all citra, it would say something like all citra. But of course, I don't know. I, I've, I've had a decent amount of other half, but I haven't had enough to know. No, but they do beers where they say like just citra, like all, all day citra or something. Anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not trying to guess the beer. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Hides the alcohol. It's always what I get nervous about when I do these. They're saying Imperial IPA, triple IPA, whatever you want to call them. 10% IPA, whatever terminology you want. I get nervous about the alcohol. Am I going to taste it? Because unlike in a stout where a little bit of alcohol taste, I don't mind. When it's these juicy New England style IPAs, I don't want alcohol. All of that being said, after the first sip, I didn't get alcohol. But there is... Uh, in the aftertaste, this the lingering whispers, the vapors of alcohol, uh, not the taste, but like the sensation you get after a shot, you're, you move down with any sort of burning sensation, anything like that, but then you're like, oh yeah, I did have some alcohol though. It's like the alcohol is on your breath, you know? Actually, the, hmm, the taste is a lot like the aroma. I get apricot, and dried apricot, uh, peach, not the ripest peach though, but peach, and then I do get some orange, a little bit of orange zest, a little bit, like, so the actual fruit of orange, but then I do get some zest, and that zest is mixing with the aftertaste, or, or the after effect, if you will, of the alcohol, which is interesting, so it's, hmm, it's a very interesting aftertaste. I, I, I'm pretty on board with this um and i don't 
I don't plan on drinking the whole thing on camera. At this point, having had a few sips, the alcohol on the after, like on my tongue still, is not bothering me. I am wondering after 16 ounces if it's if it's just going to be like a fatigue and almost like a, you know, just a an ethanol kind of a, a breath, you know. And, and and I'm already kind of feeling it. Like I'm pretty sure when I'm done reviewing, I was to go talk to my wife from. 10 feet away and be like, hey, you know, what are you up to? She'd be like, did you just have a beer? Like, I, th- like, I think there's that much alcohol on, t- or on, the, on my tongue now. But again, not happening in the taste where I think is the more important thing. But again, this is a lot like the aroma. There's another thing going on that I can't put my finger on. Has a good mouthfeel. Should have said that. It's it's like syrupy light. And again, with a 10%, I'm not super surprised. I don't know what the other thing is. Um, instead of just filming myself uh, trying to figure that out, if I do figure it out, I'll put it in the uh, description box below. If there's nothing there, I either never figured it out or I forgot. So uh, sorry about that. If I, I'm like pre-apologizing because I know myself and I'll probably forget. But uh, thanks again, Dan. I appreciate it. I like this. It's a style that I don't... It's still very hit or miss for me. I've had a bunch of good, what I'll call triple IPAs, even though they're calling this an, in, an imperial version of an IPA. Enough that I'm warming up to this style, I guess, but it's still not like something I'm yearning for. And this is one of those ones that it's, it's, it's interesting because it's like, oh, no, you like this. Oh, wait, but here's a little bit of that thing you don't like about it. And why I kind of you know stay away when I purchase uh, beers, but yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have tried it probably without you. So I really appreciate that, obviously, Dan. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate that. Check me out on Instagram Untapped. There's no hype beer reviews about those places. So please like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.